In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the most tried and true concepts year in and year out in Madden 22, and that is the curl flat concept. I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about the curl to flat concept and what defense is defended, how you can combat some of those defenses with critical hot routes and things like that. So really excited to jump into this video. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the sub button. It's free to do that. I also want to let you know that I have a Patreon membership where I have all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks available uh, for the price of the, the membership. So the membership includes everything over there. It's only $10 to sign up. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon membership, um, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. And that way you can go get the uh, Trips Tight End ebook if you want to. So again, there's a link in the description uh, for you to check that out. But what I wanted to do is break down one of, like I said, one of my favorite concepts year in and year out in Madden and that is the curl flat play um now obviously in in madden 22 the curl flat play uh, from trips tight end is really good but i'm gonna be talking more about the curl flat concept in general and how we can utilize this this has been a great play in madden literally um ever since i've been playing it's always been a great route combo and I'm really excited to break down this version of it because I think you're going to find a little nuance in this one that's going to make it even better. Now, I'm in the Detroit playbook. Like I said, if you want to get my full Trips ebook, it's in the description just by joining the Patreon. But let's get on the field and talk about the curl flat concept. So um, I just want to talk first and foremost right off the bat about, um, obviously, it's a curl flat. So you have a curl route and you have a flat route. So your curl flat concept, if I motion Godwin to the right, it's still curl flat. You still have a curl flat concept, okay? So just to illustrate this for this video, I'm just gonna move Godwin out of the way. And we're gonna first open up by talking about cover four. What you're gonna see is the flat is gonna pull out the underneath zones and it's gonna allow this curl to sit in behind it. So as you can see right there, a quarter flat zone, that is how a quarter flat zone is going to play a curl flat uh, concept. The next play um, that I want to go through with you guys is the Mike Blitz 3 meta, which is two vert hooks and seam flats. So something like this, or obviously a double flat, and I'll come back to that in just a second. But just want to first focus on the, you know, the concept from this right here. So again, we have a curl flat. So if you just watch, the seam flat should get pulled out. The vert hook looks like he's going to go guard it, but he doesn't. And as you can see, that curl route is going to sit on the match coverage. Now, what about match coverage? So like cover four quarters, um, it's basically exactly the same as what you just saw against Mike Blitz three. And so what's gonna happen against this is you're gonna see that it's gonna get double teamed, but you can still catch it um, because again, the quarters coverage are topping the route, which means it's gonna allow the underneath passing lane for us to be able to throw that against cover four. Now, the next coverage we're gonna go over is cover two, which is a cloud flat on the outside. And what you're going to see with this is again, the vertical hook looks like it's gonna guard it. Now, notice in this year's game, the uh, cloud flat actually did a really good job of covering it so and we're going to go over that real quick so i'm just going to spy the d-line just so i don't have to deal with the pass rush but i just want you to watch the concept over here so again i'm just going to move godwin and i want you to take a look at the curl so the cloud flat will actually play this fairly good but it's going to leave the flat open and i can easily check it down to the flat but it is interesting in my opinion that the cloud flat does do a decent job at defending the curl flat play okay and then the last coverage that we're going to go over is the curl flat cover three zone and the reason i wanted to save this for last is because just like the cover two with clouds it doesn't have an underneath defender so you see in cover three it looks like it's going to guard the flat at first and then it's and then it goes back and it guards the the um the curl route so you'll see it again here um, see here, it does a little bit better of a job when it's a trips look versus a two by two set, um, which is also a factor. So when you have three receiving threats to one side versus when you have two receiving threats to one side, it does change some of the principles of the coverage. Okay. And then um, actually, you know what? Two more, two more coverage shells to talk about. So let's talk about man coverage and we're just talking about press man. Um, with this, what you can do is you can low ball and you want to click on an aggressive catch the ball. And that that's going to do is it's going to allow you to complete this against man. It's also going to allow you to complete this against match. And if they shade their coverage over top, you'll see right here. 
whoops, I think I messed my play up. Let me see, I can, I can still throw it. Um, but if they shade over top in their coverage, uh, this is still going to work. So I'm just gonna shade my coverage over the top. And what you'll see is it's a little bit more open here. But again, he does get kind of jammed. But you see, that's really the key animation right there. That little dive back type of animation is really, really good. So those are all of the covered shells that you're going to face, at least at the face value um, in terms of the general principles. Now, if it's cover two, and let's say, for example, it's cover two sink, and they have a soft squat zone on the outside there, you're going to notice that that soft squat's going to suck down to the flat and it's going to leave this open on the left side. So the curl flat um, this year, soft squats actually are kind of honestly random this year, to be quite honest. Um, it's supposed to go down to the flat, but it really kind of, it, does, it doesn't really guard the curl and it doesn't really guard the flat. So you can throw this. And again, notice how I can click on an aggressive catch it to shield it away from the defender. That's really, really important uh, for this. The only thing we didn't talk about, and I will show this real quick, this is a shaded in underneath coverage, just shaded down coverage for this. You're gonna see this year that it really doesn't stop the curl with if you throw it on time and you throw it um, an aggressive catch it, okay? So those are the primary things. So the, the best zone for defending this is the curl flat zone. Um, and it's because it in the, I mean, literally it's called the curl flat zone. You know what I mean? Now you can honestly still throw this as you see right there. Um, what you do is you basically wait for the zone to kind of sit there for just a second. And then you'll throw it with a low and inside pass lead. Look at the 335 normal just scream at me, even though there's only three people rushing in front of it. So anyways here. So just right there. And you see how there's just that tiny window that I can hit it. Now, I wanna go out of this and I wanna talk specifically about zone drops for just a second. So let's say that they put their zone drops on five out of their purples. This is very problematic for the curl flat play because now the curl flat zone or the quarter flat or any of the purples, they're basically in no man's land. They're not gonna cover the dig and they're not gonna cover the flat. And so what you can do with this um, it's a little bit of a different pass lead, but basically what you can do is you can just throw it with an inside pass lead, aggressive catch it, and you see. I wouldn't necessarily, again, just like you'd throw it normally against a cover three cloud, you want to kind of let it sit for a second, let the receiver kind of sit, let the zone stop moving. Otherwise, you'll get that right there, um, which is kind of, uh, you just don't want to, you don't want to have to deal with that, okay? Now, the next thing that I want to show you is that I'm going to show you a 10 yard in just a second. But again, just a basic cover three, pass lead that inside. Notice the five yard curl flat's honestly not doing that bad of a job. But there's things that we can do alongside of this concept that's going to make it even better. But again, I just want to show how the cover three is really the best coverage. Um, you can still throw this. You just need to really make sure that you're pass leading inside. That's the real critical uh, piece of this. Then let me show you quarter flats real quick. You'll notice quarter flats don't do anything. They still pull out and then seam flats are exactly the same. So now what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you a 10 yard curl flat and then I wanted to show you um, and then I wanted to show you this concept with a little twist that's going to make it really good. So really the only zone in the game that can really I think hang with this concept is either a cloud flat and it's primarily because he's, it's really because of where the, the receiver is running the curl. Um, and then also a curl flat. So here's your 10 yard curl flat. Um, you see it plays it pretty well. You still, again, there is a small window if you have Gunslinger or if you have a quarterback that can throw faster than Brady, that you can hit this. Um, just let him kind of sit, you see how he kind of dumbs out. And again, there, that played it fine. But the 10 yard curl flat by far is the best zone for defending the curl route. Now, I wanted to take that and I wanted to then cross apply this with the true curl flat principle that I'm used to running, which is you have curl flat on both sides. The way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna flat Gronkowski, we're gonna curl Godwin, and we're gonna motion Godwin, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to cover three. And what we wanna do with him is we wanna snap the ball right when he gets to the numbers, so right about there. And if you watch, you'll see that the curl flat doesn't guard that curl route, even though it's a 10 yard curl flat, even though it gets pulled out. Um, and, and then what, what I wanna show you also with this though, is if you wait on this curl flat, 
the curl flat zone will eventually suck back inside, but the flat initially pulls him outside. So you see that right there. And because he's in a zone drop, so to speak, he'll typically not pull inside on the grid. So let me show that one more time. Again, this is cover three. This is how we can create a truly unstoppable passing concept, in my opinion. And I'm gonna come back to that and talk about the backside of trips in just a second. But again, here you see there's the curl. Uh, I didn't even put the flat and it's still very effective. Now, one other small little tweak, and these are the little things that make this concept really, really, really good. If I move the ball to the left hash, what you're gonna notice is, remember how cover two was pretty decent at playing this curl flat. What you'll see with this is now we're gonna be in a situation where we're a little bit um, in a, a little bit of a different alignment. And so now you look at that cloud flat, notice that he sits outside. He doesn't come inside on the curl route. The reason why is because of the grid system and that flat has now settled up on the sideline and it's causing that zone or it's causing that zone to really hold on the outside. So now I'll show it to you from cover three with the 10 yard curl flat. You'll notice that this is still the best zone, okay? By far still the best zone, as you can see. But what you'll also notice is if I were to come back across over on the other side of the field and try to run the same thing, I'm going to snap Godwin about the same place in terms of the numbers. So I'm going to snap it kind of right in this little area right here. And you'll notice that the curl flat at first doesn't go out there. And he really, really, really doesn't go out there whenever you get him all the way to the numbers. So if I get him all the way out here, it'll take a little time for this to develop, but you'll notice, boom, that's open. Now, another thing real quick that I wanna finalize this with is I said that the 10 yard curl flat zone is the best zone in the game for guarding the curl route. That is true when there's three receivers to one side, but now we've created two receivers to a side over here and watch that curl flat. He doesn't really guard it. As you can see, I can low ball inside pass lead, and now it makes that concept really, really good um, against that coverage. So based on where you're at on the field, based on all of those, all of those factors uh, play in to this curl, they have to have a curl flat zone. Bottom line, they really can't cover it with anything else, especially if you're good at user catching these. If you spend just, you know, probably 20 minutes in practice mode, you'll be able to really get the timing down on this. Now, this is a standard curl flat. And again, you'll see with the two receivers, it really messes it up. And you see, I can just inside pass lead it all day long um, against this concept. So this is truly one of my favorite money plays just in key situations. I wanna give you one last little piece of advice with this. And that is an alternative setup that you can run if they're running a lot of the 10 yard curl flat. And that's basically to take Godwin and put him on a smart routed in route to come back across the middle of the field. So this is really more so for cover three, but what you'll notice is the curl flat will really get high and then you can kind of low ball that in route. Again, that's a simple little thing and we can do a lot off of that concept alone. Um, you know, there's so much you can do in Madden, but this in particular play is one of my favorites because they're gonna have to do a lot to stop just your basic curl flat combo and it leaves the running back wide open over the middle of the field. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the detail which I gone, I went into in this video explaining what every zone did and how they reacted, you're gonna love our Patreon membership. Basically every single week I put new videos in there where I deep dive into match concepts, route combos, blitzing concepts, red zone offensive, money plays, defensive tips, and then I also, um, the Patreon is the place where I have all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. So if you wanna check that out, we've got over 100 videos in the membership and you can get all of it for just $10 a month. Uh, literally unlocks everything and all the future eBooks and material that we're gonna release uh, going forward. So if you wanna check that out, link is in the description. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time.